In past Splatoon games, updates could happen pretty randomly, so there was a lot of times where we didn't know what to expect. But this really isn't the case in Splatoon 3, where effectively the future update schedule has been laid out for us already. Now, although Nintendo hasn't explicitly said this, of course, as things could change depending on unforeseen circumstances, we still pretty much know what to expect. For a start, you can already see when the next season is going to start if you just head to your catalog, so that's a good indicator of when you will see the next update, because it'll happen just slightly before, in order for everything to be prepared for the new season to arrive. We saw this system in place with the last update, where the content was actually added to the game just at the end of the month, but everything arrived on the 1st when the new season started, and it seems like this is exactly what Nintendo will be doing going forward. Therefore, we can already clearly deduce that the next update will be sometime in late February, and the new season will arrive on March the 1st, which will actually be the fresh season. Now, given the gaps between each season, we even know exactly when future seasons are due to launch. Unless Nintendo is due to throw a curveball, which I think is pretty unlikely at this point, it seems like the schedule of each season will happen as follows. March, June, September, and then December. And like we saw with the previous update, it should be the case where at the end of the month we get some kind of big update, likely bringing us to a whole new version number, like the chill season brought us to version 2.0. Now, of course, some of these updates are quite far away, but I find it really interesting that we basically already know when they're going to launch. Of course, we don't have exact dates. I'm sure that's something even Nintendo doesn't have lined up, but it should be the case with each of these major new updates that the content is actually released on the first of the month when a new season starts. So for example, sometime in May, we would see another content update right at the end of the month. And then on June 1st, when a new season started for the summer season, we would get all of that content unlocked. Interestingly, we've even seen data mines for future features which outline what version they'll come in. For example, League Battle is heavily considered to be coming in version 3.0 due to data mines. Now, when it comes down to major features and such, plans can and definitely will change with those, so we don't really have those locked in or know exactly what each new season will bring. But of course, every new season is expected to bring in a new catalogue with a whole bunch of new rewards to enjoy, and I imagine they'll try and add at least one major feature each new season. We definitely have a really exciting time ahead of us in Splatoon 3. I'm imagining that they'll probably keep these seasonal updates going until the end of 2024. That would kind of line up with what they said about updating the game for two years in my opinion, so hopefully that is how they will decide to do it. But let me know what you think, are you excited about future updates in Splatoon 3? And what sorts of things do you think we'll see in the next season? If you made it to the end, be sure to comment Splat Gang down below so I know you did. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing and turning on notifications for more. If you want to support my content, consider becoming a member by clicking the join button or the link in the description. You can get some exclusive perks for doing so, like emojis, a badge by your name, and you even get featured at the end of my videos.